Hello, fifth grade artists. Today we're going to make art through e-learning. So I'm gonna talk you through some information and then I'm gonna provide you with a couple project options and you're gonna choose one to complete this week, okay? So let's just quickly talk about a career in the arts and that career is a fine artist. A fine artist creates art just for the sake of art, so just for aesthetic reasons, which just means just to look, look good, okay? So this could be working in drawing, painting, uh, ceramics, designing graphic design, all those types of things. So sometimes fine artists create still lifes. Think about for a minute what a still life is. Pause me if you need to. All right, so I hope you thought about it a little bit and came up with something similar to what I'm going to tell you now. A still life is a painting of things that are still. So the main point is that they are things. So this is not a picture of a person. This is not a picture of a place. It's of things, things that are still. And usually they have a little bit of life in them as well. So often there's flowers in the still life or fruit of some kind. The painting on your screen right now is a really, really nice painting of a still life. Notice all the details and lots of interesting textures. And it's a really interesting arrangement. Here's some more still lifes. These are by Paul Cezanne. He's a famous French uh, still life painter. So again, things that are still, some fruit, different vases and fabrics, all common in a still life. Here's kind of a different still life. This is by M.C. Escher. I want you to think about reasons why would an artist want to paint a still life? Why would that be preferable to maybe a portrait or a landscape? Think about how you could make a still life interesting. We'll have to talk about that when we return. So today you are going to do a still life drawing. You're going to use contour lines. Contour lines are curved lines that just show the outline of an object. So the point of contour line drawing is really to focus on the lines and like the shapes of things that you see. So this isn't about tracing. This isn't about um, using a ruler and being like mathematical about how you draw something. It's about looking at an object and paying really close attention to what you actually see and drawing the outline of it. You have three project options for this week. The contour hand drawing, a blind contour portrait, and a candy contour still life. So you'll notice that at the bottom of each of these little um, sections, there is a blue link. So down at the bottom here, it says click for directions, and that will take you to the directions for the contour hand drawing. Down here will take you to the directions for a blind contour portrait. And over here are directions for a candy contour still light. Very quickly, I'm going to talk you through all three options, and then your only job this week is to do one of these things. So the first option was the contour hands. If you click here, there's a link to a video that has more information about how to pose your hand and draw using contour lines. Remember to focus on what you see. That's one option for this week. Another option is a blind contour portrait. So find a mirror and you're going to stare at your reflection. A blind contour drawing means that you're not looking at your paper. So this is kind of a fun thing to do that you're staring in the mirror and kind of drawing what you see of your face without even looking. So this is, um, it's helpful if you don't pick up your pencil from the paper. Just try to keep it down the whole time and focus on those curves of your face. This is also fun to do a, a friend or sibling or somebody in your house if you want to do a portrait of somebody else. The last option is to make a still life. The example linked in uh, this link here is of candy and there's a really awesome video that talks you through how to create a still life and draw it using contour lines. So if you don't have candy lying around your house, you might have some other objects that you could use and that would work just as well. So if you want video directions for that, you're going to click this link here. I'm going to head back to the beginning so you see all three project ideas. Remember that your job this week is just to choose one of these projects and complete that. 
So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me through the Google Classroom or through email. If you want to share your work with me, you can always share it through uh, email or the Google Classroom as well. So happy creating this week. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with.